So I'm checking out the annual Po' Boy Festival here in New Orleans, and this is so popular. Look at the crowds here. They just pack these streets to try Po' Boy sandwiches from more than 30 vendors that are set up here. And each of the vendors trying to outdo each other with the best Po' Boy sandwich, you know, seafood, meat, a whole bunch of different incredible ingredients right between French bread. And every year they try to outdo each other, kicking it up a notch. We got the baby maker from Parkway Bakery and it is fantastic. It's got fried oysters, bacon, cheese, and remoulade sauce. Hey, I'm eating a rock and roll po' boy. It's blackened shrimp and avocado. How is it? It's really, really good. Everyone's been staring at it as I've been walking down. I'm not for sure. It's oysters, bacon, and some sauce. Oh, it looks good. Fried oysters. I'm from South Carolina, so I'm not used to this. Parkway Bakery and Tavern here is one of the most popular restaurants for po' boys in the city of New Orleans. A lot of celebrities like Beyonce and the President of the United States love their po' boys so much they always stop there when they're in town. But he's kicking it up a notch. This is, this is fried oysters by Wayne from American Seafood with uh, some applewood bacon. And then I'm lighting up some cheddar on it with some uh, ramelade sauce. Call it the baby maker. Why do you call it the baby maker again? Uh, you know, it's a, oysters are aphrodisiac, you know. You eat one of these, you're going to make a baby. Here we found four chefs teaming up. Award-winning James Beard chef Tori McPhail of Commander's Palace. Cafe B chef Chris Montero. La Boca restaurant chef Jared Rawls. And Chef Mike Brewer of the Sandwich Restaurant, collaborating on a speckled trout meniere po' boy dressed with smoked tomatoes, arugula, and celery leaf salad, and meniere mayo, fried artichoke, hearts, lemon oil, dried caper, coriander seed, and mustard seed dust. They even had a dessert chocolate po' boy. Chef Jared says he grew up eating this treat his mother used to make. I'm going to do an homage to my mom, my grandfather, who inspired me to cook growing up. So and show us how you do it. Okay, well, we just take uh, a whole unsalted butter, we butter the, uh, the bread, and well, we get it nice and toasted, caramelized, we get a little brown, you get that nutty flavor. As soon as it comes up, it's piping hot. We take the whole Hershey bar, right on top, coarse sea salt, we put a generous amount of sea salt in there, some of it will fall off, and that's fine. We'll put the top right on there, and within literally about one minute, that chocolate gets nice and soft and gooey. And it just melts in your mouth. Oh, man. <laughs> and, you know, nobody's really doing dessert pull boys at Pull Boy Fest. So this is something that can, you know, set ourselves apart a little bit, have fun, and, uh, you know, kind of break tradition a little bit. Oh, man, I got to try your chocolate thing. Yeah. Mm. Oh, my God. That is so good. Hanging out with the buddies is a lot of fun, but we want to try to do our part to uh, to give back. So all the money that uh, is raised today goes to Hogs for the Cause, which is a charity for um, uh, childhood uh, brain cancer. The Cider Seafood Restaurant is one of the most popular vendors here. Take a look behind me. This is the line. The line goes all the way behind me here, lining up to try one of their delicious po' boys. Last year, this vendor, Cider Seafood, won the best seafood and best shrimp sandwich. And this year, they're going all the way to try to win again. And what that is, is it's a blackened in shrimp avocado pool boy with uh, spicy mayonnaise, eel sauce, shirachi, sesame seeds, cucumbers. It's just kind of like all the ingredients on a sushi roll, but except on a pool boy. This is a blackened shrimp and avocado pool boy. I call it a rock and roll. Got the avocados here, some cucumbers, some shrimp. Right there is what I won with last year, just that. And then this year, I decided to just make it crazy. Rock and roll it up. And that is the rock and roll po' boy, right there. And there you have it, one of the many reasons why the Po' Boy Festival has become such a huge attraction for foodies.